right, this is episode two of season three of the Defiant Business Podcast, and we are diving into the future of marketing. Today, we're going to cover the golden rule and why you should not use it in your marketing and what you should use instead. So let's get into it. Uh, the golden rule. We've been taught from a really young age, you know, the golden rule, treat others as you would like to be treated. But what, what's wrong with this in today's marketing? The golden rule asks you to focus on your wants, needs, and perspectives. But the greatest marketing, the greatest marketing out there focuses on your audience's wants, needs, and perspectives. So instead of the golden rule, use the platinum rule. Treat others as they want to be treated. How does this translate into your marketing strategy? Assuming I'm your content marketing consultant, here's what I'll tell you. In terms of content creation, let's say that you're more comfortable writing blog posts, but your audience loves video. Which should you create? Video. Now, I'm not saying that you should never, ever, ever write again. You could even write blog posts and then outsource video creation based on those blog posts to a freelancer or an agency. Animated video is all the rage right now, and you're going to see that throughout season three as well. And we're actually rolling it out for some of our current clients and plan on making it a thing as one of our services in 2020. Let's take a look at social media marketing. You're really happy on Facebook, but your clients, they're mostly on LinkedIn, right? So you're a consultant or a web designer, a content creator, uh, perhaps you offer some other type of service that a business needs. And even though you really have a great time on Instagram and Snapchat, you know that your clients are mostly on LinkedIn, or at least that's where they expect to find you. So where should you be? I really think you already know. You got to learn how to use LinkedIn. If that's where your customers are, if that's where your clients are, then you have to get used to using LinkedIn. There are more people in younger generations who don't even have a Facebook account, but may see value in having a LinkedIn account. And the same holds true if you feel comfortable on Facebook, but your clients are mostly on Instagram or Snapchat. It really just depends on who you're marketing to. For example, millennial moms, a lot of them are on Instagram. I have an Instagram account, but I'm not super good with it. So uh, you won't find this millennial mom too much on Instagram. But like I said, there are people who don't even have a Facebook account. My younger sister, she's 22 now, I think. And yeah, she doesn't have a Facebook account, but I know she has a Snapchat account. Now I've gotten lucky in that my ideal clients are on LinkedIn and I love LinkedIn, but it may not work that way for everyone. So you have to get out of your comfort zone if you want to create an effective social media marketing strategy. All right, what about funnels? Marketing and sales funnels? Well. Here's my problem with funnels. They can be incredibly effective if you personalize them. But so many funnel gurus are hawking methods that worked years ago. Or they're giving you the very basic version of an effective funnel. And because it's so basic, it's not as effective as when you add some of the personalization options that you can add these days. But basically they're telling you, send a welcome email then send another email the next day. Wait two days, then invite them to your webinar. Send another email, recapping the webinar in case they didn't make it. Send them the link to your service product program and you'll make all the monies. Woo! And the thing is, this sort of thing may very well work with the uninitiated. But if your audience includes sophisticated professionals, you're going to have to do better than this. And God forbid that you give them a fake anar, i.e. a recorded webinar, but you told them that it was live. Now, if you're giving people recorded webinars 
that's fine if they know. But if you tell them that it's a live webinar and they log on and they can see that it's not, that's a fake webinar. And that's one of the most top hated marketing strategies. I'll include a link to the blog post we wrote about that. But even if you're talking the golden rule, right? Treat others the way that you want to be treated. I don't think that you want to be treated this way, do you? So why are you sending these emails like this to your prospects? Why are you treating them this way when you wouldn't even like it? So the platinum rule. Look at your marketing strategy with your platinum rule glasses on. How does it stack up? Send yourself your own emails. Schedule them for odd times of the day so you'll be surprised. Really ask yourself how you would feel if you received the LinkedIn message that you just sent to someone. You know, the one full of all the links and asking them for stuff when you haven't even taken a look at their profile to see if they care about what it is that you're offering. On the flip side, are you communicating with your audience as often as they would like you to? Dun, dun, dun. I found that consultants of all kinds struggle to stay in contact with their prospects, their audience, the people on their email list, as much as their audience would actually like them to. You can be so considerate of not, you know, clogging up their inbox that your hot and warm leads go cold because you don't stay in touch. It's a fine balance we have to strike, right? Not too much, not too little. Are you assessing the information from your market? They're giving you a ton of it. It's everywhere, all over online. All you have to do is look for it. Are you asking your clients these questions? How they wanna hear from you? How often they wanna hear from you? Do they like video? Do they like written? Do they like podcasts? If they love your work, they'll wanna help you. Don't lose money because you're afraid to ask a few questions and do a little research. So remember, Toss out the golden rule and start using the platinum rule for your marketing strategy and watch your cold leads turn into warm leads who turn hot, who sign the line. That's it for now. I'll talk to you next time.